Hi, welcome to another video. As you can tell, I've come up with my first revision of a Y plate. The bottom of it is pretty much runs on the basis of my X gantry plate. And, um, well, where the stepper fixes, it's well basically exactly the same as the corner plate bracket, but sitting inside the Y plate. And of course, the addition of the extra 20 by 40 at the top and a 20 by 40 at the back, which will also add some stability and somewhere to run the cable chain across. I'm not going to cut this out of aluminium straight away because a, a sheet of um, tooling plate this size in the UK here is, well, they're 26 quid a time, so. It's going to have to be a good old piece of MDF because I can't do one of them on the 3D printer either. So let's go and cut one out of MDF and see what it's like. <laughs> So that's the two Y plates cut. Um, received another two lengths of 40 by 20 from Ooze Nest, and I needed them to be all exactly the same length. Now, it's a strange one for you. This is what I've come up with. That is two 20 by 40 extrusions and a C beam. Now, using some brackets in fact i can take these off now because i've trimmed it off uh, using these i won't say left over but um sort of prototype corner brackets that i didn't like for some reason i managed to strap them to the extrusions which kept them exactly how I wanted them. Now we've got one extrusion sat at the back and you can fit a 20 by 40 in the center of C beam. So by running the router across the end of these all, all three of them are exactly the same length so there won't be no twisting of the Y plates trying to get them right so I've got the plates I've got um, three pieces of extru ex extrusion so let's put it together so that's the prototype Y plates bolted onto the C beam and do I like it? Yes, I, I like it. Um, it's not oversized, as in it's not big and bulky. It's not too small that I feel that I'm wasting because it's something, it's something I felt a little bit with the oxes. I was so restricted on height. Um, 
Yeah, so this is what I'm going to go for. Decided, yes, I like it. I'm going to cut this out of aluminium. But the one thing I am going to add is, like I've got the corner block set up here for this 20mm extra, well, 40 by 20 up the top, I'm actually going to add them down the bottom onto the C-beam as well, just to give it that bit more rigidity. You wouldn't believe how many times I've had to say that word to get it right. And why am I telling you that? Um, yeah, like I say, like it. White plates are, yeah, happy with them. So, with the spindle on, I don't think there's too going to be too much leverage on the side here. Obviously, we've got the added um, extrusion on the top. The bed height is, by the time I get 10 mil on the top of there is roughly on the, on the top here and remembering there will be sacrificial board on top of that as well which will bring it up so by the time you've got I've got the bed on there I've got the sacrificial board and we've got a bit in the spindle I'm going to try and hold this because it is um, only sitting on MDF by the time we get a bit in there if you look that's the sort of like that's that's full full up there. So by the time we get a bit in there, I I really don't think there's going to be any leverage on it at all. So since I'm happy with it, I'm actually going to cut some aluminium then. Come on then. So I've got the first aluminium plate. It's now all loaded. One thing I like to do is check um, my Z reference from corner to corner. I normally do it in each corner plus the centre, just to see how level we are. Now I came to doing the second probe up in the top right hand corner and there is actually 1.2 millimetre different because that corner isn't fixed down. The screw in the left centre is actually bowed that corner up. So it turns out that the centre screw that I had for hold it, holding the plate down, well the left centre if you like, um, it was longer than the sacrificial board and it's screwing down into the bed of the ox which I suspect has got a bow in it so it's obviously pulling it all the way down to the shape of the bed so to get a, get around this for now I'm going to loosen off the centre screw obviously and I'm going to do this one M5 bore that we've got here and an M5 pocket which will obviously or hopefully make it a bit more flat so that was the bed all leveled done that one in the corner to hold it down now it was time to start all of those lovely bore holes and don't worry I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch each one of these well it continued and we done obviously some of these holes and eventually ended up with a plate that looks like this well it is like this because this is how I cut it and of course we had to follow this along with a nice little contour
and then of course we need two of these plates so let's stick another sheet on and do exactly the same again So that's two white plates now completed and cut. I've put it together, um, not levelled or anything's perfect true, but near enough for me. Does it run smooth? Well, it's something on a video you would never be, ta be able to tell, but damn is it smooth. Um, I've added the four holes like I said on the plate on the side there there's one problem with them they're on their own because I haven't done that side so I'm gonna have to strip it all back down again and stick that back on the machine and well do them four holes so I go do that then Now throughout making these plates you might have noticed that all the plates have got one of these tiny little pilot holes in it. Now this is purely for me, if I want to change anything on here, now this is how I can reference getting back the coordinates exactly where they need to be. This is a 2mm drill bit and is all I need to do is get it all positioned exactly where I need it from the CAD program I always have a center point up here so to get the coordinates of them if I go into simulate then I've got the coordinates I need to put in here of the X is 142 and the Y is 150. So then I can then input these into Mac 4 and tell the machine where it is at that precise point. And that just leaves us to reference the Z on the plate and we can then run the g-code we need to add So that's Spartacus all rebuilt again with the addition of the four corner block holes. Um, pretty much finished on the plate making side of it apart from uh, a plate for the top which is going to hold the stepper and some plates for the back of the acne blocks. Now, I say plate because the, these acne blocks, when they go on, um, they've got little three mil spaces between them. And to me, I know three mil is not much, but I think there could be a tiny little bit of leverage in that. And um, well, I'm just not happy with it anyway. So, so what I come up with is when. When I rebuilt the ox, when I put the ooze nest plates on them, now the ooze nest kit comes with some little end plates for the end of the extrusion. I thought, oh, what a good idea. They're three mil and they fit behind an acne block absolutely perfect. So, <clears throat> I don't need to cut any of them then. So, all I've got to cut is the top of the Z. So, apart from the cutting and building side, she's done. So, what am I going to do in the next video? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Until then, see ya.